I'm gonna take a little video. Yeah, if that's I, um, okay. I've got a just got a shop. The guys told me this morning that they're just finishing the drywalling on it, so I, it should be ready in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So clean, so clean. What are these, Bevan? That is uh, one of the gaffs. The booms and gaffs is there's an example in the boom. Yeah. There was 32 holes that Wayne had to fill that we didn't need. Oh, right. And then so then we got our sandblasted and powder coated. So these are the booms and gaffs with the other one up on deck. And then... Is this a from scratch build, Bevan? No, Bevan got it and started working on it. It was on Salt Spring for the longest time, wasn't it, Bevan? Yeah, we got it 10 years ago. She's a rescue boat. It, we could have put her down or brought her back, but we decided to bring her back. Um, here, this is... She had nowhere to sit, so I designed a metal frame, and then Thomas Wolverston built this for oh, me. Oh, that's beautiful. And then this is the uh, poor man's water helm. That's great. So good. Yeah, so it's not finished. Everything is work in progress here. But I just, I finally got the fuel tank hooked up this morning. I got the filler. I got the vent done yesterday, the filler today. So she had no gallows, so I designed the gallows and got them built. Thomas did these? Thomas did that. Yes. Yeah. And Wayne did the metal work. Yeah. Yeah. And they're powder coated as well. What about the compass? Can you tell us about the compass, Bevan? Yeah, that's a commercial compass. Uh, uh, Sura, the guy that did the compass swing, uh, he says, you know, that's a commercial compass of a commercial freighter or something. Yeah. It cost me 800 bucks to have it swung. It's so beautiful. Uh, yeah. And it's lit, and then you know, at night time, you can either look through there or you can look through there. My friend says one like this, and it's actually linked up to the old original autopilot system. Yes. On his fish boat. Yeah. That's uh, very cool. So she's steel up to here, and then above the eyebrows. Th these are new cabin tops that Thomas built. Then um, I wasn't happy with the hatches, so I designed the new rails so that the water can't come underneath and also the lines can't get caught in it. When the boat's sailing with all six sails... It's a lot of rigging. ...uppers as well, uh, there's 32 lines involved, so <laughs> they can catch on just about anything. Yeah, so it keeps everything tight. Uh, no winches, the only... Uh, I've got a powered windlass up in the bow I put on before it was a... What, win what kind of windlass is it? It's beautiful. So we have a bar. Sorry? It's chain and, and rope. Yeah. And then this is the cup for the bow strip down in here. Um, the big problem when we hauled out, of course, we put a putty knife through at the water line. Mm. And that brought it out the shed to get the sandblasting and the welding done. But also, the horse holes, where that's all they were, were two holes. Salt water, fresh water got in underneath. This is all new deck plate in here. So then I designed a new base for the windlass with the horse pipes come up to here. So that this protects the water from going down into the boat. Beautiful. You had Anthony do your standing rigging, right? What's this? Anthony did your standing yes, rigging? Did all the rigging? Yeah. Yeah. They We've have, had quite a few salts alumni on this boat. Yes. Um, the mass booms, gaffs are original. Yeah. But all the rigging is Anthony's work. The parceling and... The Wormed and bit. served and parceled, yeah. He's yeah. a genius rigger. He And he reset that grace nine times when they went offshore with it. So yes. he's quite, quite yeah. a... So um, Thomas made the nav boards up for me. We've got the coal oil lamps. Oh, cool. Uh, I've also, these are three mile LED lights that I've got on there. Yeah. They're just little guys. Uh, Trotec brought them in for the submarines and they didn't use them. So. Oh, wow. So they're pressure tested to 
1,500 feet or something as well. Oh, those ones, John has those ones too. Those little LED ones. Those are crazy. Yeah, so the pin rails are out because uh, we took everything out to uh, seat pole. Right. And then, of course, if things are getting so dirty from uh, uh, the work, um, I found an inflatable that will fit on here because we can't put davits on the stern. There's no stern. No. Nope. So it fits right in here. Well, that's really screwed up the rigging for the foresail. So now I'm putting in a, a, a double uh, sheeting system uh, for the foresail here. Yeah. Can I take a little video down below, yeah, Bevan? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. I so just had some tanks made as well. You got them from Brad? That's it? Brad, Brad, Brad Morrison? Yeah. Yes. I just had four made from mine. Oh, he's still doing it? Yeah. Yeah. Sigmar 200, and then yeah, the sink and stuff's on this side. Right. The boat's further along than it looks because all the doors and everything are in storage, so I don't beat them up. Fair enough. Same with the cab. The uh, countertop is down at the side there. So once I crawl out of the engine room, ah. this will come together pretty quickly. But it looks beautiful in there. The wiring is amazing. Yeah, if you want to go forward, you can have a look around in the forecastle. There, sure. It's not enough room for us to <laughs> dance up there. <laughs> It's a very intimate boat, Devin. <laughs> it had bucket and chucket, so I had to find a place to put a head. The reason it's on the diagonal there is it's the only way you can get in there and get your shoulders under the deck. Yeah, I have a little bit of space. But the holding tank is under the starboard berth here. That's the chain locker up for it. Beautiful. Thanks for showing us your boat, Bevan. Thank you for showing us oh, your well, boat. Oh, well, there's a little more to it here. You can have a look at it. I'll take a peek in the end here for sure. <laughs> My favorite parts. I'm just finishing up the electrics. She had no electrics. I put electrics in, but I got a bum steer with the guy that was helping me. So I got a marine electrical engineer in and designed it up. And then I do all the work, and that was his plan. Then this is was the, that Turnbull? Who was that? Who was did it? you get? Who did you get to do your electrical work? Um, uh, James Turnbull. Yeah, Mr. Turnbull. Yeah. Yeah. So this comes off. There's four golf cart batteries fit there, and the 27 start battery sits here. And then here I built. This is the sail rope locker for the upper sails. In here, you can buy it. And then there'll be pegs there for the longer line. So I just finished this today. I had a bitch of a time with the vent. I couldn't make it go direct because the exhaust hose fits through the center. Hanging yeah. off those hangers. Right. And the, the water tank that you see on deck, it fits here. What kind of engine is it, Bevan? Yes, the whole boat. The we, Yanmar? Yanmar 3GM30, yeah. yeah. The whole sole is like this. All the way through the boat, and in the back here, there's four, five pieces that fit around here. They're held down with earth magnets and, and uh, stoppers. And when you take them out, the engine's exposed out board of the mounts. So, for example, the main nose pump will go in this area here. Back here, this 
this is actually the, the nicest part of the whole boat is the uh, bunk space aft cabin. So the guy that did the wiring for me, that was what he left me with. Oh, nice. So this is what I've done. Oh, very oh nice, <laughs> very nice upgrade. Yeah, so um, Thomas did all the fine cabinetry. I'm a wood butcher and I, I did all this work, you know, the Sibelian stuff and building these little uh, boxes. That's a corrosion meter because she's a steel hull. Mm -hmm. CO detector, battery monitor. Nice. Yeah, this is all the yellow cedar tongue and groove that's along here. So Thomas made that with 5 8 ply and then clothed over the top. Yeah. And then these are laminated beams and then the Sapili soles. Thomas did a lot of work, Bevan. Yeah, it was almost four years. <laughs> yeah. So th this is the one piece that fits on the starboard oh, side yeah. forward. That's right. Held in with the... Uh, and that's Storm Petrol. Oh, just watch yourself if you like to. And that's it. <laughs>